may turn out to be the most memorable. Or on a current affair, another Simpson exclusive. Little, little Sydney and Justin Simpson as you've never seen them before. Exclusive, never before seen footage of OJ and Nicole's children. Haunting visions of OJ's little angels. That story tomorrow. Now, he's the Houdini of this generation, a master magician pulling tricks that wow millions. But one guy tried to turn the tables on David Copperfield and take the magic out of his act. George Ticarone explains how it all led David Copperfield to file a lawsuit, which started a magical mystery war. How's tricks with David Copperfield? Well, not bad. Aside from being considered America's fastest rising entertainer and being engaged to the fetching supermodel Claudia Schiffer, Forbes magazine predicts the 37-year-old entertainer to earn $55 million this year. That's more than Madonna and Michael Jackson, as Copperfield continues to dazzle audiences worldwide. But Copperfield himself was a bit dazzled when he heard plans of a tell-all book being written by a fellow magician here in Central Florida. The great Cardine, also known as Herbert Becker, was planning to publish the backstage secrets to Copperfield's greatest illusions, including how he made the Statue of Liberty disappear, how he walked through the Great Wall of China, and the mystery of the vanishing jet. Now, needless to say, Copperfield wished both the great Cardine and his book would disappear. I was bewildered more than anything else because uh, he really presented himself as a fellow magician and a journalist. And uh, uh, nothing to do with the secrets of magic. Usually a magician's not going to reveal one of his brethren's uh, secrets. It's not part of the deal. Copperfield met with me at a New York hotel following an exhausting sold-out nine-week European tour. After catching up on old times, he told me exclusively that Becker deceived him during a backstage meeting. Kind of an alica scam. Obviously, he misrepresented himself, yeah. Um, he was going to do a biography, and he continues to talk about doing a biography about me. So it was, um, I didn't know he was going to do a tell-all book about my secrets. Do you think he did anything wrong at all? Oh, no, not at all. Herbert Becker tells quite a different story. He claims Copperfield knew what he was writing about all along. He told me what his favorite tricks were that he wanted to include in the book. He told me what his, what his first tricks were. And these were things that I included in the book. Becker's publisher, Don Lesney of Lifetime Books, defends the book's intentions. I think the audience should know how these tricks are performed, and I feel that the reason that we go see the magicians is to see how they perform their acts. I don't think people really want to know, you know. I think uh, it's not the greatest of, uh, of feelings when you have the rug pulled out from under you. Well, the great Cardine's plans were met by a great lawsuit, 30 million bucks by Copperfield. Copperfield claims that Becker signed a letter of secrecy, which he requires of all backstage visitors. And he says that legally keeps him from talking or writing about anything he might have seen. I have thousands and thousands of people signing these secrecy agreements when I travel around the world. And if one guy gets away with breaking that secrecy agreement, the floodgates are open. I've seen a document, but my signature is not on it. David had a word for what you did. Uncool. Yeah, that sounds like something David would say. Um, I don't know what that means, but I do know that nothing in my book was meant to harm him or anyone. Copperfield offered to drop his lawsuit if an independent magic historian determined Becker's theories on how Copperfield does what he does to be incorrect. That job took us to the All-American Magic Museum in Marshall, Michigan. Museum curator Robert Lund said the book was hocus bogus. I compared what he showed me versus what Mr. Becker wrote, and Mr. Becker was wrong. Not even close. Not even close. If I was totally wrong, why would David even make a lawsuit and make all this press and make all these problems? Well, the publisher said that he would honor the secrecy agreement and omit the chapters on Copperfield's illusions from the book. And Copperfield agreed to donate other, less guarded secrets that he uses in his charity work. But you know, even a guy like him can always use more, especially from the master. This is pure skill, I can tell. It's it's very good. You're going to do a little more distance. There you go. That's very lovely. That's good. Class. This is a class show. <laughs> Well, we think so. David Copperfield is currently working on his next TV extravaganza. Now, To the best of my recollection, I have never signed such an agreement. 
Perhaps the initials just magically appeared. Anyway, even the status of the litigation is in controversy. We know the court documents are sealed, and each side has his own version of where the lawsuit stands. Copperfield's camp says the court ordered that the sections about David's illusions be sealed until further review. Becker's publisher says it will publish the book, but plans to make it clear that the author's explanations of the tricks are his and not Copperfield's. So the feud continues. I think he's a very lonely fella who needs some companionship, and I think he's just not getting it. He's reached a high point in his life, and I think he's scared. And what does the man who's currently on a sold-out European tour have to say? He has no illusions about Mr. Becker's magic touch. This is the Herbert Becker explanation of how a plane disappears. Watch. Plane. Amazing. Done. Boys, boys. Well, the book is due out as early as November, but it's anyone's guess as to what will be included. One thing for sure, Inside Edition. We'll be right back. <laughs>